hi my loves welcome back to this face if this is your first time to not make it your last we're all about fashion lifestyle and a bunch of general nonsense guys please don't forget to subscribe do not forget to like share do all of that we need ten thousand. okay this year we need to achieve our goals <laughs> okay guys so yeah i feel like it's been so long since i talked about like luxury stuff on this channel and you guys know how much i love luxury it might seem very vain it might seem very why are you talking about that when people are hungry the economy is bad you know people are suffering i'm suffering too the economy is bad on me as well too whether i talk about it or not the dollar price will keep on rising you know whether we discuss it or not people will still keep on suffering so um it has nothing to do with me discussing about it it has nothing to do with me showing it and just doing things that make me happy so this is my little disclaimer another disclaimer i have to give is that if there's anything i mentioned in this video that you already own or that you bought who cares about my opinions like who cares about what i have to say like i'm happy for you this is just me my opinion what i feel like works for me so it has absolutely nothing to do with your taste or has absolutely nothing to do with like anything basically so let's just enjoy this video <laughs> as always and not read any minute into it just enjoy it just enjoy it relax get your drinks relax and enjoy it okay this video is going to be luxury items i am so glad <laughs> i am so glad i did not buy like i was this close <laughs> i'm always this close to buying stuff because i have spending issues and i've talked about this so many times on this channel and yeah you guys already know that but yeah i was this close to buying these items last year and looking at it now i'm just like thank god oh i touched the bullet like thank god i didn't buy it number one either i didn't have the money to buy it or number two i had something in my mind telling me that do you know what you're going to get over this it's going to be a trendy item or number three maybe it just doesn't work for my lifestyle and people are making it look as if it's going to work for me but i don't think it works for me necessarily so I just said you know what i'm not going to buy it and now i am like thank god thank god <laughs> okay guys so let's get right into it i think i have like eight items and don't get me wrong i have a lot of items <laughs> i have a lot of items i bought last year that i regret buying like and i'm sure i even do like unboxings here on my channel where i'm like oh my god i'm so happy guys oh my god oh my god oh my god if you want to see that video let me know i'm going to make a video if you're interested i don't know if you're interested but i think this video makes more sense just in case in case you're in my position and you're thinking of buying these items maybe my points might be valid to you and you would resist the urge to buying them that's why i'm doing this video but mm, makes sense too the other way if there are items that i have and at least i've used them and i know that i regret using them and you really want to know about it let me know i can do a video telling you some items i got last year that don't do it don't do it i regret it i'll probably end up selling it or giving it away like i actually regret buying them but yeah let's focus on today's video okay let's focus on today's video <laughs> first on my list of items that i'm just like thank god like for someone that loves sunglasses you'll be so proud of me for not buying this particular pair like i was so close the internet made me yeah you know me i'm very influenced i am easily influenced by seeing people rock something well i'll just be like yes i want one i want one i want one and this particular glasses i was just like everyone is just wearing it, it looks so cool it looks so cool are you sure i should not buy it can i buy it can i not buy it can i buy it i was like mm, let's just see I, I just kept on saying mm, let's see maybe later it wasn't like yeah, an automatic no i just kept on saying mm, maybe later maybe later let's see let's see until later i'm like thank god because not only did we bastardize it it actually reminds me of the inflate inflated sunglasses which i actually have one of it and if i was going to do a video of things i regret buying that those sunglasses are going to be number one on my list <laughs> the loewe inflated glasses those cat eye they had different shapes different colors <sighs> anyways the one i'm talking about in this particular video is called the loewe wave mask sunglasses pictures will be on the screen in case you're wondering what i'm talking about when i saw the picture of these glasses the first time i was like they're so cool they're so futuristic like oh my god this one i wanted the green one like this army green one i was like oh i need this in my life bloody 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 but everybody started wearing it everybody and it wasn't just right anymore <laughs> they're so impractical <laughs> i don't know how to explain it. like i feel like it only makes sense if you're going on a ski trip i think it's now gone i think the trend is gonna i don't know i still, i think some people are still wearing their own obviously you cannot throw it away but it's no longer as cute as it was when it came out last year you understand now if i see people wearing it i'm just like 
<laughs> no <laughs> we're done with that <laughs> let's stop it <laughs> you understand so i am so glad i dodged the, the glasses they're cute no doubt like if you're into glasses i understand the hype around it but no and even if i wanted to join the trend i would actually actually with my full chest recommend getting a dupe like these are the kind of things you should get a dupe don't but don't get the real stuff don't spend your money get a dupe if you just want to feel that whole trend you know rock it and everything get the dupe from amazon when the trend is over and done with you will throw it away or you give it away or you won't feel bad because you spent like ten dollars or six dollars compared to spending four hundred and something dollars so like it makes sense right it's my <laughs> number two number two is the same thing as well the bottega earrings you guys know i am a sucker <laughs> i am a sucker for earrings for statement earrings for statement jewelry in general like i love earrings and when i saw these bottega earrings believe it or not i put it because i have a wish list i put it there seeing the price like i saw the price i saw that it was about i think then it was 700 and something pounds i think now it's 800 and something pounds i don't even know but it was very ridiculous and i had the mind to screenshot it and say oh i'll get this bottega earrings i'm talking about the drop earrings if you're wondering the drop earrings and i was like oh i'm going to get it before then we hadn't seen a design like that right it was when the bottega one came out then everyone started doing like their own version of it right so i saw it as it's so unique it's so nice la 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 and when it came out people were not buying the dupe yet because obviously the dupes the dupes were not available and even when they started making the dupes they were making it in the smaller sizes and i don't like small earrings i like big earrings so I was still telling myself i'm going to get the bottega one because these dupes they're not making sense it's not adding up but thank god thank god <laughs> thank god i waited like there was just something in me the fact that they started making the dupes of the smaller ones i was like i know they're going to make the dupes of the bigger ones i was like this is bloody costume jewelry why am i spending 700 and something pounds buying costume jewelry so i just said you know let me just wait actually at this particular one i was like let me just wait when they make the dupes for the because i really didn't want to get the small ones i was like when i see the dupes for the big ones i am going to attack and i'm going to get it so immediately it came out on amazon and instead of doing the big ones like the dupes for the big ones the way i bought it i think i got it like 25 dollars i can't remember but i showed you guys here on the channel one of my vlogs where i was like please do not make the mistake of buying a full price like you like that's irresponsible actually like if i want to talk about being irresponsible it's irresponsible buying the bottega earring the drop earrings when they have the dupes because it's the same thing it's it's the same thing and again it was something that i felt was very trendy that particular design i felt like it was very trendy it's still nice it's still cute but you would always associate it with a particular era like it came out last year like it was the talk of town right it feels like from next year for example people will start saying that it was something that came out then if that makes sense these are the earrings still looks perfect perfect condition it's not tarnishing at all it's everything still looks very good like still good so there's really no difference <laughs> okay be like me buy the 25 dollar on on amazon i'll see if i can still find the link i think i linked it in that video where i unboxed it but i'll see if I, I can still find the link in case you're still interested they're very beautiful gorgeous earrings but not for 800 pounds not for 700 pounds nah 25 dollars yes <laughs> yes for sure next on my list is something that is still kind of trending now and everybody everybody <laughs> everybody owns it every I don't know what to call them like all their jebot girls they have it is so cute it's so and <laughs> i think the biggest reason why i did not get this particular item or why i'm glad i didn't get it is because i just know for a fact it's not going to fit my feet my legs like i just know i don't have the fit for it so these are the laurel kiana loafers if you guys the pictures are here so you guys know what i'm talking about everybody owns one now i feel like it's almost reminding me of the oran like the emma's um oran sandals everyone owns one but there's just something about loafers in general loafers they don't fit me my feet i wouldn't say is wide it's not wide but it's not skinny i feel like loafers fit those that have skinny feet like you knowing your ankle is skinny skinny slender cute feet so when you wear it it makes sense i don't know how to explain it but when you have normal feet <laughs> slash wide feet and you wear loafers it, it doesn't look right it looks tight it looks it's not giving that vibe because i've seen i've seen i've seen a few people wear it 
and it doesn't fit their leg like it doesn't fit them it just feels like is they're forcing it because they want to join the trend or because everyone is buying it and i just felt like that was exactly what was going to happen to me i felt like if i buy it i'll just be wearing it just because right i wouldn't be wearing it because i feel like i like it or it looks nice on my leg or and besides that the, the shoe is made in a way that it's it's not giving me everyday wear vibes like it's almost giving me only when i'm traveling kind of vibe like i don't see maybe it's just me maybe it's just me because the sole the sole is usually like white or like cream in color and the colors they have are like very colorful and it's made of suede and i'm just like it's not practical in nigeria like especially i say x especially with my kind of um style like my style you guys know me i love prints i love dresses i love booboos you know my style right then i wear loafers my style doesn't call for loafers it doesn't call for suede loafers so i think that's the biggest thing it's cute the design is cute but i understand those wearing it like with leggings jeans traveling like like i said those with slender feet like it just makes sense some people wear it and it looks so nice like it fits them but it, it won't fit me <laughs> let's just the head and tell of the story that will fit wrong it will not fit me i would regret i would regret it and they're not cheap obviously you have to know what fits you and just accept it it's not everything that comes out that is for you do you understand so that's how i just see those particular pair of loafers i'm like it's just not for me do you understand so yeah i am glad i did not fall a victim i'm glad i did not tell myself just buy it just buy it you might fall in love with it thank god because ah. <laughs> nah. next is the ysl i care shopping bag i think that's what they call it i care shopping bag the quilted black oversized wire saw bag you guys know it and the one reason i wanted to get it was that i just wanted my louis vuitton never fall to rest because that is the only travel bag i have like you know when you want to carry like a big oversized bag when you're traveling you guys know i travel a lot and when you're traveling it's good to have like a big travel bag if that makes sense where you can put all your um what do you call it all your valuables because i don't like checking in my valuables so like if you want to put like your jewelry put your passport all those kind of things i don't want to check in you want to carry the bag like this no this kind of bags you want to carry it like this and be great i feel like my never full it has tried to ah, that never full i used this in school that was my school bag like when i was still in uni that was my school bag and the bag is still in perfect condition so i felt like i've used it too much maybe let it rest small and again with the never full you guys know it doesn't have like a zipper or anything so it feels like when i carry it like there's still holes on the side and people might get in just all of that so I've, I've, i'm actually still on a search for like another um travel bag and i really want something with a zip but number one thing that came to my mind was the wire saw one i was like okay this is black it doesn't have structure it's something i can overuse this one but the price the price number one and number two i actually don't get anything with a logo it has like the big wire saw logo on the bag and the quilted design i just feel like i'll get tired of it i feel like it's ugly i don't know i don't know i don't know how to explain it. like it makes the bag look ugly i loved it the first time i saw it but the more i keep on looking at it the more i saw it in real life all of that i was like eh, it's just too expensive for what is meant to be to be honest it's really too expensive for that so um that's why i didn't get it <laughs> that's that's basically why i didn't get it i'm still on the search i don't know which one exactly but if you have any options if you have any suggestions let me know i'm on the lookout for like a good quality like i said my never full i used this since i was in uni so we're talking about how many years ago and it's still very good but obviously you just want to you know switch and like i said the louis vuitton one as well is like monogram so it has lv lv everywhere you want something i want something very discreet something very low-key so you just won't be traveling with lv 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 <laughs> do you understand so yeah and with the ysl it has the ysl logo so i just want something plain i was looking at the bottega ones Bottega they have some nice plain looking ones that and obviously you guys know that Bottega they have good quality leather like I can't even question Bottega leather but if you have any other suggestions let me know but yeah that was my reason for not getting the YSL I care bag everyone has it I feel like it's very popular as well too but to me I just feel like it's ugly and I feel like it's actually quite expensive and I think they even did like a price increase as well so it's it's expensive for what it's going to be it's not like I'm traveling every day so yeah <laughs> next <laughs> talking about bags is the fendi graphy bag the little one because i think now they have a bigger size but the little one don't get me wrong let me explain myself i love the bag i feel like it's so cute it is the cutest bag ever you can even wear it like a bracelet it is so cute but i am glad i didn't get the colored ones 
like if i'm ever going to get that bag it must be the gold one and for some reason i've not seen the gold one like the metallic gold one i have not seen like it just got sold out i don't know what happened is discontinued i'm just seeing the silver one but i feel like the gold with the gold hardware on the chef's kiss but all the colored ones the black the pink the red they have different colors the blue i just feel like it makes it look child looks um it makes it look childish it makes it look it's not giving me what I wanted to give me, but I feel like if it's the gold metallic one, I'll use it for like night out, for weddings, for dinners. You understand? Like I feel like it's more elegant when it's the gold metallic one. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but the gold one, yes, but the colored ones, childish. You get me? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just glad because I was so close to getting the blue one, like this baby blue one. I was so close. Like I already went to the store. I was like, you know what? I'll come back and pick it up. But the spirit of the Lord led me and said, my daughter, you don't need it. Leave it free. It's when the metallic one comes anywhere it wants to come out from. I don't know where it's going to pop up from. Or maybe they'll decide to bring it back. I don't know. Then I'll get the gold metallic one. But the colored ones, nah. Then the worst is now the, the Fendi... The, what they call it, the printed ones with the Fendi Fendi FF. Nah, fam. <laughs> like I said, the bag is cute, but it can look childish easily. So I rather get the metallic one. I feel that looks more mature and it's going to work more with my lifestyle or with my style. But the colored ones, nah. I think it looks more like something I'd give my nieces. Like it's childish, <laughs> but it's a very cute bag. I don't know. I hope it makes sense to you guys well yeah i'm glad i didn't buy that blue one i wanted to buy i am so glad because i feel like by now i'd be looking for a way to sell it like i'll just be over it by now next is <laughs> the loewe puzzle bag <sighs> do you know what i never used to like that bag actually when this bag came out i never used to like that i was like i like structure like if you guys have seen some of my bags most of my bags they have structure like proper structure and if it doesn't have structure then it doesn't have structure i feel like the loewe puzzle bag is is confusing me right so i think when it came out it didn't come out in the mini size correct me if i'm wrong i don't know but before the mini sizes came out it was like in the medium bigger sizes right and i didn't like it i was like mm, i'm not sure of i mean it's a puzzle bag so it was really confusing me i didn't understand it but when the mini came out it just looked so cute i would see some people get like the lime the orange it looked so cute i was like oh god i need this bag in my life i need it in my life and then I saw it in real life and it just didn't, it was the same thing. Like, are you structured? Are you not structured? You look, you're all over the place. <laughs> you're all over, I understand the mini one is cute, but no, no, no. So I am glad I did not buy it actually, because I was trying to convince myself that, okay, it's because the mini ones were not out, but now they're out. It would be cute if I get the mini ones and all of that. But I am so glad I didn't get it. <laughs> I am so glad I saw it in person because normally if I was in Nigeria, I would have told the personal shopper to help me get it and I'll just be stuck with it and everything. So thank God I was able to check it out when I traveled and I was like, I don't think it's for me. And with the whole long strap, I, I'm not really a long strap person. Like you guys know, I love top handles. I know it has a top handle as well, but the top handle is not, is not, <laughs> it's not top handling well. I've seen some people their own slouched, so it's like, make a choice. What do you want to be? <laughs> this particular bag, what exactly do you want to be? I don't get it. So, it's cute, but nah, I can live. I mean, I can live my life with without any of these bags, obviously. But it's fine. Like I didn't have sleepless nights over it. I, I was not dreaming about it. Like it's all good so yeah i'm glad i didn't buy it because nah mm -mm. <laughs> next again on my list when it comes to bags i don't get and i don't even know why i even thought for a second that i would want to get that bag this is the jacques mousse bag i think it's called the le sac rond rond r-o-n-d guys the bag looks like a joke <laughs> it actually looks like a joke and i blame social media because when you see it online when you see people pose with the bag like you know how people i do that as well so i i get them like when you take a picture of the bag like give them aesthetic pictures like vibes it looks so nice it looks so different it looks so you know but when you actually see it like practically like someone wearing it like and the fact that a lot of people bought it i understand jacques most men people buy their bags because they're very affordable and everything but this particular style when i go for parties <laughs> it is abuja and i see and i see women carrying this bag i can't take them seriously like i just look at them and i'm like no no it looks like a joke it looks like a 
joke like when i saw it online i was intrigued i was like i like the bag i like the shape i like the handle it looks cute right but in person people actually wearing it in person it looks like a joke like how do you nah. last but not the least oh god this one i think i was being delusional when i was even thinking of buying this particular one these are the renee cow villa is that how you pronounce it hopefully <laughs> that's how you pronounce it the renee calvilla um heels like those ones that they kind of spiral around your legs again like i said i was being delusional i have g like yeah you know when they say calf <laughs> i have it so i feel like these particular sandals they make sense like i said for those petite slender looking legs feet like it's cute to go around it's a wrap it makes sense the, the, the shoes are pretty they are gorgeous do you understand but if you have g you have yeah your legs are not slender enough and you don't can buy these shoes it will look like your legs are praying to come out of the cage i feel like it does not just work for everyone and i am an example of that it doesn't work for me like I saw it, I was this close to asking a personal shopper to get it for me. I think it was last year for my birthday, actually. I was like, hmm, can I order it for my birthday? I tried the fact when I found out that it had like different heel heights. I think they had the lower heel. So I was like, hmm, let me get the lower heel. But just watching people, like, because I'm so, I like doing my research, I like watching videos. So seeing videos of people buying it and unboxing it and trying it on, and I'm looking at them, I'm like, ah, this makes sense because their legs. Do you understand? I'm like, that spiral thing, can you go around my legs? I don't think so. This of it going four times to go only once and to be hanging, it might not make sense. So, I'm actually glad. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't buy those shoes. And I feel like they're uncomfortable. I've not tried them before, actually. You know, I'm just saying all these things. I've not tried them. But I feel like they'll be uncomfortable. I feel like they'll be uncomfortable. And I'm trying as much as possible to run away from buying shoes that are uncomfortable. I feel like I've passed that age. Like, at this age, at this my big age, I'll go and carry myself and buy uncomfortable shoes and i'm be shaking i can't do it i can't do that anymore so yeah it looks pretty thank god i didn't you know fall for that whole birthday spirit and i'm like oh buy it for me buy it for me thank god i didn't buy it and i'm so glad i didn't buy it it's still pretty if you have it if you have the legs for it wonderful but it just doesn't fit me i feel like it doesn't fit i've not tried it but i just feel like it won't fit me and i feel like to be uncomfortable and the sandals and the skinny straps and all of that i just feel like to be uncomfortable maybe one of these days if i have the chance to see it and try it i will but I just know for a fact that it's just not going to work for me. It's not going to work for me. So I've accepted my faith and it's all good. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, is there any items I didn't mention? Or are there items that you feel like you want to buy and now you've watched this video like, thank God I'm not buying them? Or are there items that you own and you regret and you want to sell it <laughs> am i forgetting anything let me know like i said if you want to see a video of things that i already bought last year because i have quite a few i have quite a few if you want to see a video of things that i bought last year and i was so excited to show you guys but now i'm just like why did i buy it <laughs> let me know i'll show you guys as well hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye